Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our commentary as developers, but not developers on this game. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we're back with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Uh, so far, this game has has been blowing me away. Uh, what about you, Tony? Yeah, I mean, I feel it's it's difficult to call this commentary because there hasn't been so much commentary as much as uh, reacting to how uh, how just high quality everything that we've been seeing on the screen has been so far. Gushing, I would gushing. say, gushing. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's hard to it's hard to even uh, quantify a lot of it because I'm looking at stuff and I'm like, that would be really hard to do. And I don't know how to explain it because <laughs> I didn't do it right. Like when we were when we were doing this on the original games, I knew how it was done, so I could kind of show it. But there's a lot of these things where it's just like I don't even know how they're achieving this, or you know, all I have to say is that's really hard. Well, I think the other thing is that I, one of the things that's been very uh, fun to watch, uh, especially having worked on these games from the beginning. There were always these pie-in-the-sky dream ideas that you had for the game. Right. Especially working on the PlayStation 2, that you would be laughed out of the room for suggestions. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, right. no one would actually laugh you out of the room. And uh, now they're just doing it. I mean, I remember we talked in a very old episode of Developer Commentary, I think we talked about it, where, where they were on the Starship Phoenix, and there was a request, like, hey, can we just do lip syncing for all the characters on the special Right, game? right. And they were like, ha, 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 no. <laughs> Never in your life are you going to get that feature. And now it's just like, yeah, Quark in the first scene is talking and lip syncing and doing the whole yeah. thing. It's just like, yeah, they're doing it now. Because you can. You can just do these things. And I, like that, I don't even think that was procedural. I think that was just, like, somebody animated him doing mm -hmm. that. And that's crazy. It's because, crazy. Because normally you would have to store all of that in the memory, uh, in RAM, for, for when you loaded the level, right? So it would limit other things that you could put into the level. Right. right? And you usually would, like, especially on the PlayStation 2, we could only have so many enemies, so many textures, so many uh, polygons that we're drawing at the same time. But here, with the, the, the fast loading that they can do... Any time that they get you somewhere where you can't go backwards, they could just load in a whole new set of all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, like, it's just so interesting seeing somebody, like, just go to town on that idea. Yeah. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons why I've just been blown away by all this is because they can do this seamlessly. There haven't been any, like, you know, you're done with this level, the ship flies by, you go to the next level. It's just load free. Yeah, I mean, I think, and that's the thing, I think the thing about this, the, um, the, you know, back of a, back of the box line I have on this is this feels like everything you've ever wanted to do in Ratchet Game, they're just doing it here. And the thing about this that seems fascinating to me is the fact that they're actually just bringing everything to fruition that we know they wanted to do forever now makes me really wonder what did they want to do in this game that they couldn't that we're going to start seeing in future projects from Insomniac. Oh, interesting. Right? Because there's always that stuff that's left on the covering room floor because we just don't have time for it. We can't really do it. And as great as this is, it just shows me that whatever comes next from that is going to be unbelievable because you know there's stuff they wanted to do that they just didn't have time for or couldn't sort of make work in uh, you know in, in what they had that they're just chomping at the bit to get out there to you yeah uh, every game I've ever worked on it's like that it's like okay e there's just a few things either because of uh, time or uh, limitations or whatever but what I'm kind of excited for is so far we've been seeing like our wish list mm -hmm. show up right what I'm wondering is what what kind of things did they have on their wish list for this game that I'm not even going to be expecting, right. which is also going to be fun. Uh, so one thing we were going to do to start this episode off is actually look at some of the options in the menu, uh, because man, there are a lot. Uh, start with there's photo mode, which is kind of ridiculous. Very thing. cool. Uh, we were playing around this very briefly. You can fly the camera around wherever you want? What? Yeah. Pose them. So uh, uh, if you're wondering where we got the 
graphics that we use for for the uh, episode splash screen well now you know uh there's the the one that got me is you can you can have lights <laughs> like this is this reminds me of like the effects things we did in the insomniac museum where you could do this but we never would have been able to do one dynamic light let alone what is this three dynamic lights that and they're just like yeah sure shine it all over the level who cares yeah like this is opulent uh, I just want everyone to know. Uh, and stickers. A sticker. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, yes. But yeah, I know you were uh, asking for a few things. Yeah. Uh, as we were going through. And we found some options in here, so we're going to go start going through and try to make this a little bit more of a uh, personalized experience for sort of uh, what we're looking for. So I'm not I'm not going to drop the difficulty down for reels yet, but I'm it looks like you can change it here, which is awesome. I'm going oh, to look. It, has, it even tells you what changes on the uh, when you change the difficulty. So how much your health goes up or your damage and all that oh. kind of stuff. It's very interesting. Uh, let's see. So I was talking a bit about how I wanted more aim assist. So what do we got here? Uh, to keep the target in the center of the screen. Oh, let's try the strong one. And I'll, I'll just do one thing at a time, just so that, but you can have lock-on mode. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'll come back in here and look. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I want to change? I think I saw something in different menu. Nope. Oh. Something where it can put with... Uh, I want I want these... Try these prompts. Ah, Because okay. I have... I don't see them very easily, so I kind of want them to show up. Uh, there was also some in the accessibility menu, just to show you guys uh, what we've got here. This, these contrast options are off the off the chain. Very cool, I, right? Very, yeah, very cool. To uh, for people who have uh, difficulties seeing uh, uh, things, unless there's a big contrast between them. You can change it so that the whole game is black and white, and then you can do these crazy shaders on all the enemies just so that you can you can pick out the really important things for gameplay. That's hard to do. It's very difficult. And like so worthwhile. Just like <laughs> I'm just I'm just boggled by how many things they put in here. Uh, was there anything you wanted to see in the menu? No, I think I think that's pretty good. I mean, I think we got everything where we need to go, and hopefully. Uh... Hopefully everything is now going to go a little bit smoother going forward from here. All right. There's so a let's, of, uh, let's get back to it. Mrs. Zircon? No, okay. okay. Why are you getting your nice robot? I was trying to hit their TV. Not all robots are bad. Though. I wanted to take their possessions away from them. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Also because they're there. Green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Sorry, all the charming robots I know have blue eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't Rivet have the fake blue eyes? I know she did. I wonder if it's blue because of Dr. Nefarious or... The hard oil. <laughs> Alcohol reference. Rated T for teen. Oh, is this, are they cannibals? I think that's a little bit of a animal, robot cap, cannibalism. I think is, uh, probably pushing it. I don't see any squishies. I have to and I'm, I, and that's that's what I'm noticing as well. I wonder if we'll see any gears. This looks like an elevator. Was it the little up arrow that gave yeah. it away? That's Please good. Let there be good news behind right here. Hey, it's Bull one of crank. our bull cranks. Play with that. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. Is this the... Yep, it's the new style of bolt crank, thankfully. Where you don't have to actually spin it. But I do. Does that mean there are 
two nefariouses now? That's what I was wondering. Clank first, nefarious later. Maybe he's in this bizarre... Competent nefarious. Seems absolutely terrifying to me. <laughs> The fact that there was a gap in the railing here makes me think. I think there is something over there, yeah. Oh! He's got his hover boots. Oh yeah, and you get a little wall run too. Oh, I, maybe you haven't learned the wall run. Or maybe you're doing it wrong. It right. could be either way. All of the above. Uh, yes. Oh, it was glowing. I thought it was... Uh... Cool. Let's try this one more time. Just... For shits and giggles. I'm pretty sure you would have to use the wall in the And we haven't learned it yet. See it because of the big blue you light. Nefarious. Got it. I like the sound of Club Nefarious. Yeah. This is going to be a nice set piece. So I'm thinking. <laughs> Secret Agent Zircon. Yes, it does have promise, doesn't it? Can you sell me some weapons? Miss, you Miss want to Zircon? bring a party to every go. fight? Mr. Fun Guy is the weapon for you. Oh, are these mini turrets? I guess that's oh. the Mr. Mr. Zircon replacement. Or I guess it's a combination of mini turrets and Mr. Zircon. It looks like he stays in one place. Yeah, so it looks like a little okay. more towards like the mini turret angle. And Tony, Tony and I were talking, and like, uh, I have, like, my style of playing Ratchet and Clank is I love the fire and forget weapons. I just love to throw them out there and have them beat the enemies for me. Uh, whereas I know that that's not necessarily the most popular way, but I'm playing, so. So you have just enough. Can you look at the Negatron Collider? What is this? They won't let me preview it yet. Oh. A beam that goes on forever is a thing of beauty. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. A rail gun? That's not bad. Okay. Let's see. Mr. Fungi. Oh, that, that feels good. Okay, so uh, you, you bring it down to the, the point where you have to click it in. For the aim, and then you click it in for the nice. throw. That is awesome. Oh, I love it. And it was so nice. I didn't even realize that it was a... Like, I just was doing it. Like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, it looks like it is following you. Okay. So it is, a, it is a, I guess, a, or maybe it's patrolling an area. It's okay, it's patrolling an... Uh, I Zircon, don't know. Zircon-esque, let's yeah. say. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... Yeah, so it sticks to the area, I guess, it looks like. That, so it's like a... Mini turret slash Mr. Zircon. Okay. Let's see. This is interesting. This looks like a non-linear area. Like. Gotta keep looking. The sooner I find Club Nefarious and this Phantom, the sooner I can get to Clank. Okay, that looks like the path, right? Oh, well, you can look at the map. So if you hit the the, the big button, yeah. 
Okay, let's see. So we are here. Okay, it is nonlinear. Like this is the this is the center area, and then it yeah it branches off. That's interesting. Okay, uh, and then we're going to Club Nefarious, which is do they have a marker for it. Oh, there we go. Optional objective, objective. Well, let's go to the optional objective then. I think if you click on the map, you can uh, you can click up, put a waypoint down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I suppose reading would have would have helped, but that's not my not my style. I imagine that's, that's pretty for titanium. Yeah. Yeah. For upgrades. Oh look! The citizens coming out and patrolling. This is like what we wanted to do in, in your level, in mm -hmm. Ratchet 2. Oh that's we want we wanted to do the same thing with the doors, but we couldn't make it work right. I'm on my way, Clank. I just need to find uh, oops, that is not what I meant to do. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Gotta get up there. Do you see a way up? Oh well. Let's try going towards the uh, actually Club Nefarious, I imagine. That sounds like a good oh, I love it. Oh, I see. We can't go through because we're not a robot. Right. Ah, oh, I get it. Hey, okay. Have you begged your emperor today? If not, now would be an excellent time. Did it say, have you begged your emperor today? Uh, thanked. Thanked, okay. Hello, club people. There's the bouncers. <laughs> this is actually as fast as I'm allowed to walk. I am whatever you want me to be, Fluffy. Maybe the bartender knows. Person looks like they're guarding the door. Nope. Can you see the big red thing? Unlike all the other things. Maybe. This thing here. Oh, oh, now it's time for some fight. First mission is forever, and my cover's blown. It sounds like skid. It did. It did sound like skid. Oh, it is. Phantom. Skid is the infiltration specialist. Amazingly. Is he Phantom? Because he was Shadow Dude. That was his nickname when he. Oops. Had to be Phantom, right? Mysterious dude in a hollow guy. Had to be Phantom. Holla guys, right. Phantom, wait! Who are you? I was just in the middle of a mission. I'm Ratchet. I heard you were- No names! You gotta be smarter than that if you want to join the Resistance, new guy. Why does everyone think I'm with the Resistance? Okay. I think I figured out the uh, wall jump, though. Okay. That was really my objective the whole time. Just in the middle of a mission. I'm Ratchet. I heard you. No names. You gotta be. You asked me who I was. Why does everyone 
everyone think I'm with the resistance? Cause you're the Lombax? Alright. Man, it's a good thing we're not uh, uh, billing this as a developer commentary. <laughs> I am not giving much commentary, developer or otherwise. I'm relying on you to provide color, Tony. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm enjoying and watching the game. It looks. Uh, it, there's just so much going on that it's hard to uh, to sit and make commentary when there's uh, so much going on on the screen. And we haven't seen it before. Oh, cool. I like that projectile from the Mr. Uh, Funga. Oh, it's purple. Yeah. Your favorite color. Going all, going all out with the purple effects. I appreciate it. I love all the little 2D illustrations. Not just in here. In all of the Ratchet games, all those little 2D illustrations are always just so nice. And they provide such uh, such good uh, you mean like atmosphere. That? Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Or Quark's uh, crayon drawings. Yeah, those are always good. I can use to reach Phantom. All right. What do you think that was for? I don't know. Huh. Oh, that feels good. I do love a lot of neon, so I'm glad that we're in a big neon. I guess this is supposed to be the uh, the ruined version of Metropolis, I guess, that we were just in, right? So oh. this is supposed to be... The negative zone yes. version of Metropolis. Bizarro Metropolis. Yeah. That crate was askew on top of the other crates. Yeah, I've been noticing Another that. Another thing, strangely enough, that used to be impossible. impossible. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Oh, you actually get to pick up some raritanium now, I think. Did I? On the right? Oh. Plus one raritanium. Oh. I hope they do my favorite upgrade system. Whoa. Stop it. Okay. Hey, wait. There's another crate. Oh, I thought. Oh. This is the other side of the force field we saw. Right? Yeah. Okay. Where are these guys? The football from the club! <laughs> oh, these guys are going to bash you. I'll handle this, Phantom. You just get to safety. Another resistance Oh, is, in this parallel universe, is Skid McMark's actually good? <laughs> It's great, right? It's so good. Now where'd you go? Do you think they had to make sprites for all of them, or do you think that's just a uh... for all their characters? Like, yeah, like oh, it's a sh it's definitely a shader. It's, okay, so yeah. it's just done post post process, and then when you hit it, it breaks into cube particles. Nice work, new guy. Thanks. Shh. What is this? Some kind of secret handshake? <laughs> hey! What do I do with it? Oh, new gadget. Phantom dash? 
Enemy can't catch what doesn't temporarily exist. Cool. Yeah, so these are the new evasive maneuvers that I was hearing about, that I'm very curious to see, and see how they play, as opposed to the uh, side jumping that I've been used to from a very, for about 20 years at this point. Do you want to try it? No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm more curious to see how it, how it, how it uh, plays out in the game. Jump and phantom dash! Love handles the rest! You're a natural. Don't be scared. Use the glove to run along those panels. That's it. Ball's not gonna bite. You wanna go even further? Jump and phantom dash. Oh. <laughs> that was an unnecessary death. I was just going up here. I wanted to see what was up here. Nothing. I need a royal starship to find my friend. I heard you know where to get one. Shh, it's not safe. Just stay close. This is so cool. Wow, look at that. Did you see the reflection? Yeah. I think I'm with you. I think this is destroyed Metropolis. Yeah. Oh, Zara Metropolis. You are just as stubborn as she is. Wait, you know that other Lombax? Where did she go? Sargasso. She always goes there after a mission. Sargasso. That's the prehistoric planet, I think. From Nexus. Mm. I'll make you a deal. You see that blimp? Help me take control of it, and I'll help you get into Nefarious Tower. It's the only place in the city you're gonna find a royal starship. What's so special about the blimp? Just find a way up to that rooftop. I gotta grab my gear. But, but I'll meet you up there. Rooftop? How do I get to that rooftop? Good question, Ratchet. I'm coming, Clank. Just hang on. <laughs> Who has two arms and loves patrolling? Love it. Uh, that was not a grind rail. That was a grind rail. The one thing I haven't raved on so far that I actually do feel important to call out, uh, great sound design as well. Amazing sound design. Oh, All yeah. the guns sound really awesome. That, especially that the electricity sound is running around the the, uh, the wall room rail uh, sounds really good. The click 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 sort yeah, of yeah, sound, yeah. yeah. And you can feel it in the haptics too. Oh, and it comes out of the control. Yeah, the fact that and this is so this is a small thing, but also when you open up the pixelizer, that also has a little weapon on the control, a little sound that comes out of the controller when you open up the pixelizer. There is. Like it has a little beep. Like yeah. it's it's a, it's a small thing that you wouldn't think about, but like you have to do all the sound design in game, and now also you have this little speaker on the controller that they're also doing sound design. Yeah. For, to you know, and having it tie all together and have it work, it's again, it's an interesting skill set that doesn't really exist on like not the PlayStation, right? To have to think into that level, like not just yeah. the in-game sounds, but then all the haptic sounds. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. It does present a, a whole host of new, interesting things that you have to think about that really don't exist on any other platform, which is very interesting. Yeah, like, uh, oh shit. Just, and that's just for the, the audio aspect of it. Like on the PS2, there wasn't any dedicated anything for audio. Right. So it was always kind of like, what can we squeeze in? Uh, and like, they would still always sound great, but like, I imagine that the the sound designers got to be a lot more unleashed here. Yeah. Because you can just load and unload everything. Uh, you don't need to keep it all in RAM. Um, I also just noticed 
if you if you apply a little pressure on on this, uh, so you're in normal mode, you hold down the right button until it just until it you feel resistance, and it's in strafe mode. Oh, okay. So you don't have to go into full on aiming mode. You can just strafe by holding the button down. That's cool. Knocking those things off the ledge is the way to go. Yes! Platforming segment. I was just thinking like, oh, there are going to be some enemies soon. And then it's a platforming segment. Oh, it looks like now we're going to learn about upgrades. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Trust me, darling. You will want the upgrades I have got for you. Take your time, sweetie. R1 to switch the upgrade tab. The tutorializer. <laughs> That's a good joke. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, yeah, it's a full tree. Okay, yeah, it works the same way it used to. Surround it and then bam. Okay. I wish they'd let me keep the tutorializer. See? Why settle for a good weapon when you can make it magnificent? Uh okay, I'd love to, but it's kind of in the way. Okay. Who do I who do I want to upgrade, do you think? I mean this is, again, which weapon you're enjoying the most and uh, what you like. I mean, this is a very intensely personal decision, Mike. I can't possibly... But you sh but you have opinions. I have opinions. But tell but, me your opinions. So I have... Uh, I, I, I do... Like I said, I like the shotgun weapons, but you haven't even been using the Enforcer that much, so I would have a hard time saying you should upgrade the Enforcer. But given your play style, Mr. Fungi seems like the obvious choice uh, to upgrade for you. Having more range on this would definitely be good. Oh, I have 31 raritanium. Okay, I can I can get the range. Always close. worth the cost to keep your weapons in tip-top shape. What's that? Oh, more ammo from crates. Okay. Area of effect, yes please. Okay, I don't... Oh, I can do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, they don't, these don't cost a lot of raritanium, so you can kind of go crazy yeah. with these upgrades right now. Let's go to Boost Mr. That Fungi. Bad boy. So what has he got? He's got how many times Mr. Fungi can fire. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh... Oh, and oh. he's going to shoot him. Okay. So it becomes a, like an inflator ratchet. Yeah. Faster, 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 faster. Okay. Let's do that because I like uh, fungi oh, annoyance. Yes. It's a good name for it. Oh, let's just get all these. What a great sound! It is. It's, a, it's so satisfying. It's it's again as to what we were talking about. It's an underappreciated art to have a sound that just makes you feel good. Yeah. Like as it as it clicks off. And the bolt sound was always one that was that way. Like yeah. I just always loved that kind yeah. of sound. This this is very satisfying. Come on back for upgrades when lot. you level that up. Headshot damage. Wow, headshots. Yeah, I know I had I did notice that hitting them in different parts of the body was doing okay. different amounts of damage. Okay, more ammo. I wonder why these are orange. Did you? Well, those, yeah, that it was in the tutorializer. To unlock the gold ones, you have to buy everything All the surrounding. Ones. Okay. These don't have prices on them. That's because you can't. You have to buy everything around them oh. to be able to buy the gold ones. I okay. I get it now. Yeah. I get it now. Uh, okay. I've got fourteen of these things. Two, three, four. I think I can. Let's go for it. 
I don't think you're gonna have enough. Oh, uh, for this side, probably, yeah. Oh, my stars! That is a good one! This one is more headshot damage. Yeah, I, I won't have enough to do all of those. But yeah, if you want to buy some of the golden ones, you can, probably now, but... Oh, I have to buy them afterwards. I just assumed I got them. You were... Yeah, oh, no, you, no, just no, you just got them. Okay. Uh, maybe you can complete the side. Yeah, I, I can. Cool. Headshot damage. It's this one way up here. Oh, I don't have any more. Yeah, you're done. Well, that's cool. All right. See you next. Thanks upgrades. again for the help, Secret Agent Zircon. Good luck up there. Good luck, Secret Agent Zircon. And me Zircon. Zircon was never hit. Legends tell of a weapon that contains energy so powerful. A beam of it will obliterate enemies with the mere pressure. Oh, that looks game. really useful. Like the shotgun in Ratchet 3 when you spin it. Obliterate your enemies in a row or sweep your collider through the crowd. The energy to blast away evil is in your hands. That sounds pretty good. Not bad. Don't quite have the bolts for it, though. Oh, you can buy ammo. Okay, good. Token that one's gonna be a doozy. That's actually, I like that they show you what is gonna be unlocking next. Yeah. So you can know if you want to save your bolts or not. It doesn't tell you how much, but... Okay. But that was always one of the biggest problems. You didn't know whether, you know, you should go ahead and spend your bolts or if you wanted to wait for something that was coming out or something like that. Yeah, this does... Cool, yeah, this way. That's, this does help. Okay, I have to try. Oh, yes, this is... This is the classic... This is the standard testing move. The classic ratchet elevator test. Will it come down on me? And when it, if it does, what happens to me? It's not coming down. Here it comes. Looks like it stops. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay it'll stop right there. Man, doing elevators was always such a pain in the ass because of stuff like that. Impressive. Wait, you can see me? Where are you? You got my starship ready? You'll get it, don't you worry. I just need you to help me with one last threat. The nefarious day spa. If you can the nefarious day spa? They are putting my love of pink to the test. <laughs> What, are you saying this is too much pink? No. Oh. No, no, no. I'm just saying they're they're getting to the level where I might begin to think there yes. is too much pink. Asburn. I was wondering. I do like that the nefarious spa has completely toxic liquid. <laughs> I am so proud to be a part of our Asburn's glorious mission. Me too. Thank you, Emperor Nefarious. Oh, that's cool. The ammo, the little icon on the ammo, that's not, Where? that, on, that, so that's the unpicked up ammo that shows you what ammo it is. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah, I yeah, was, yeah. I was wondering what those, I thought they were just decorate. okay, that's really nice. I like that. I haven't picked up on that. Oh, so here's, okay, now we have the new dodge, right? Oh. Yeah, because I guess now you don't have... Yeah, so I guess you don't do the side jumps anymore, now you just have this stuff. Oh, I can still do the side jumps. Okay, gotcha. Just... You have a dodge on top of it. Yeah, and you can do it from inside the side jump. I really like the snapping on the... Like, the the snapping between enemies on the wrench is a lot more... It feels more God of War-like nice. than it did when we did it. Oh, shit! Mr. Fungi, I choose you. Looks like you're close to an upgrade on this, too. On this bomb? Yeah. Oh, look, little bits of the enemy. Oh, that was fun. They sort of disappeared, but... Okay, far away. Let's use the burst pistol.
I said I was close to leveling that up. Pretty close. Oh crap, let's just go! A lot of guys at the Nefarious Day Spa. This feels like an arena setup. Well, it sort of does. There you go, Shatter Bomb, level two. So I wonder if the uh, if the weapons have like the the big upgrades that do a big transformation. Oh right. As well. well, there's the the. Oh, you mean like if they hit max level, if there's something yeah, like yeah, getting yeah. the rare titanium? Interesting. Well, yeah. no, no, I mean, I'm just talking about like the, the big max level upgrades that do that provide a, a change, uh, like in the in the old games. Finally. I wonder if they uh, Tower, still do the kill everything when you uh, get an upgrade thing ever. Mm. Wow. Remember, like you'd upgrade your health yeah. and kill everything. Oh, sorry about that, Shadow Dude. Looks like I touched a nerve. All right, deal's a deal. That's Glitch. She'll help you get onto the Emperor's private shuttle to the tower. <laughs> Access consoles in that huge statue of Nefarious in the center of the city. Just hook her up, and she'll handle the rest. What are you doing? Tearing this whole rotten world down from the inside. Huh? <laughs> competent Skid Mc... Oh, okay, I was oh yeah, that. not quite so competent. Wow, we got a grinder ass segment now coming up. I want to go back and look and make sure I didn't miss any uh, Raritanium. It's hard to tell when the uh, uh, when it's a new level or not. Like, are we in a new level? I think we're in a new segment. I mean, they're definitely big levels. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're about to go back. So this looks like the last segment before we go back to the hub area. Yeah. I like that hub area design. Uh, I know that was always something we wanted to do. So let's see. Where was I? Right over there. All right. Yeah. Wow, they just they shoot you out on that one. I'm glad they make it so you can. Man, look at that scenery. I'm on my way, buddy. Just hang in there for a little bit longer. So yeah, back at the. Want to do that? Well, that, so that those looks like all that's here is the optional. So I guess the, the, the decision we have to make is do we want to just do a full optional completion or do we want to just try to go through the levels? It's, good, it's really your decision. Good question. Uh, so it looks like there's two objective objectives. There's one in here. I'll bet you that's the one Mrs. Zircon just talked about. Because I can go through that. I can go to that force field we saw before mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Weirdly, though, not the dumbest either. <laughs> Probably not even in the top ten, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, okay, let's see. Where was... Was that where Miss... Mrs. I mean, you can, can click, you can click on the map, right? And put the waypoints down. I thought I did. Yeah, right there. Okay, the optional one shows up. I guess because you can't get to that one. Because okay. like, look, I'm looking where it is. I don't see how you can get to 
to that one that's up there. Okay. But there is some raritanium over here. I love some of the raritanium. This is Zircon. It was like in the middle of this area, right? Yeah, she's right there. She is. Let me know when you find something you like. Upgrade. Let's upgrade the bomb a bit. I've been using the bomb. What do we got? Oh, that, that's, yeah, I want that. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I kind of wanted that more. I should have read it. <laughs> All right. Now. All right. Uh, so... The statue of Nefarious, I guess I'm supposed to be looking for? Uh, yeah. So I guess if you look at your map, you can... Is it down here? That's just where we were, right? Oh, so here's where the armor is, by the way. It's, it's, up, it's up here in the, uh, in the menu. Oh, where, where do you see that? Up at the top. Oh. Oh, yep, there's your card. Yeah, here's all there. my uh, pre purchase bonuses. Cool. Nice, they have, so they have armor for every slot, so you can mix and match. That's cool. You know what that means? There's a little pretty, pretty princess game. And you do love Ratchet now. You do love your pretty, pretty I princess games. I love pretty, pretty princess. Uh, so yeah, what do you mean when you say pretty, pretty princess? We should probably. Uh, I love the the playing games where you can collect appearance modifications and dress up your avatar. Like those like are armor and Skyrim. Yeah, like armor and Skyrim, or armor in World of Warcraft, or armor in Ratchet and Clank. It's good. To, it's good stuff. Okay, so that there's a lot more in that menu that I saw. Uh, oh, it calls out raritanium locations. I wonder if it uh, deletes them when I get them. Oh, hell yeah, I'm getting all the raritanium crystals. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, can't stand on that. Can you set a waypoint on the rare tanking crystals or no? Oh, good, good point. Yes. Yes, I can. There we go. Well, I'm glad they call those out. <laughs> oh look, the Megacorp logo. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Maybe we won't do a hundred percent, but I'm gonna try to get a lot of raritanium. Okay. I mean, again, your playthrough, your decision. Looks like a gravity boots trap. Oh, I apparently already have them. Nice. Okay, so there was a, a bonus objective up here, uh, which it looks like I'm kind of on the way on. So yeah. why not just do it? Let's see how this goes. I love that they did this the random robot citizen patrols. I will say we're on about an hour on this recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. so maybe we should. Uh, Want to call here and then we'll come back where we yeah. really want to go. Good plan. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us again. Uh, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.